Welcome to the second vlog of the Ball Bulletin. Today we're reviewing uh, a coffee machine. It's just arrived. It's the Home Ever, I believe it is. H-O-M-E-V-E-R, so Home Eva. Uh, traditional pump coffee machine. Uh, we're going to have a look at it, make a coffee, and just show you what it's all about. So let's do this. So this is the machine. Uh, as I said, I think it's the Home Eva traditional pump espresso coffee machine. It comes with a 1.5 litre water tank, which I'll show in a minute. This was from Amazon, £95.99. Uh, I had to buy with it the Homil ho ho <laughs> milk jug. That's H-O-O-M-I-L milk jug. That's a 350 ml. Uh, you'll need this if you want to steam your, your milk to, to make the cappuccino, but I'll go through that as we go on. This is the machine itself. Now be warned, it's not one of the expensive ones. Um, I don't want to be paying three, four hundred quid. It is plastic. And it's got that sort of plasticky feel, but don't be put off by it. Because I've used it once and yeah, it's pretty good. Flavour's been really, really good. Like I said, it is quite compact as well, which is good. But as you'll see, it's a, it's a good little machine. Looking good. Like I said, I got the jug. That was from Amazon as well. I'll put the links on the comments. It comes with this, so that's the scoop and the flat nap. And then you've got the filter to put the coffee in. So um, what we'll do is... I'll show you how to warm it up. That's the next thing. And then I'll show you how to make an espresso. And then I'll follow it on with the cappuccino. First things first, you obviously fill up your water tank. It's got a max level. Just goes there. It does state do not go over that at any point. Water goes into there. It's got two slots just by here. Now they go into the back of the machine, just by there. I'm gonna do this with one hand. It is easier with two. And there you go, that slots nicely into the back. So, looking at the machine itself, you've got the trip tray here, that comes out. Great for cleaning. But also, if you've got a bigger mug, that can go on there as well. That just slides in there. So, before you make your espresso, we start off by turning it on, which is that button there. Then you've got the steam button just at the top there. And the third button there is for the espresso. That's for the steam, but I'll take you through that in the next stages. So we then have to fit this into the, the actual machine itself. That just slots into the bottom. You just gotta find the find the the slots for it. Then when it's in place, push it in tight there. And that's ready to go. But warming it up is quite simple. Put a drink, put a cup underneath, turn the machine on, the light at the top there comes on. Then to warm it up, we will press that button and we'll wait for water to come through. As soon as the water comes through, we'll stop it. As soon as the water comes through, we stop it and we wait for that light there, that to go to a green. And that'll tell us that the temperature is ready to go. It does take a little while. Uh, as I said, I got this on Amazon Prime, so it was delivered literally the next day, which was absolutely brilliant. To be fair, pretty easy to put together as well. Hardly any bits to put together. The water tank was empty, obviously, without any water, and that came with it, and that in the water tank as well. If you go on to Google, you can check for many different ways of making different drinks uh, cappuccino, flat white lattes i'm sure you can do 
and espresso is the main one to do as we just wait for the uh, the actual temperature to go up it'll go to a green right so as you'll see now the green light is on so that says that the water temperature is correct so we take this back out and what we'll do next is we'll put our coffee into the filter this is a Lavessa filtered coffee just tap that slightly there then that goes neatly into there again two hands is a lot easier than one then you flatten it down just nice nice and tight just like that and that then will go straight back in to the machine right so the coffee filter is back in now as you'll see i've got two espresso cups in there the reason i do that is because i like my coffee strong so my cappuccino i'd much prefer to have two shots of espresso so i'm going to make the two espressos now for you so come back a bit so what i want to do now is Temperature's still on, temperature's absolutely fine. So you press that button at the bottom there and this will start pushing the coffee out. Let's see that beautiful coffee coming through there. You have to do this manually. So as soon as you see the espresso get into the top of the cups, we will press that button, that one there again, just to stop it. So I'll stop that now. What, I, what I've been doing, because I'm obviously new to this machine, is I will now pour those two espresso shots into my mug. When you start to learn how much coffee makes the two shots, you could actually just put a mug straight underneath. But as I said, at the moment, the way that I'm doing it, very much grabbing my mug and just pouring the espresso straight in. Obviously, if you just want an espresso, you just take it from under there and start drinking. Simple as that. So, what I'm doing is I'm killing two birds with one stone at the moment. I'm making, that's the espressos, all made. But if I wanted to make a cappuccino, I'd put my espressos in there. And then we move into the steamer. So, the steaming now. Inside the mug, I've got 150 mils of semi-skim milk. I'm lucky enough to have the, the sizes in there. Uh, so far, I it, there's no real instructions on how long you should steam for. So I've it's, it's hit and miss, to be bitterly honest. I'm doing it longer each time. And it's getting obviously warmer. So it is very trial and error at the moment. But we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. But I'm just giving you an idea of how we actually do it. So you're making sure that your temperature is there. We're going to use that steaming button there and we're going to use the dial there. But what you'll start off by doing is you place the mug in there. Oh, sorry. You put the mug in there and when we do it, we'll be bringing that up. About two centimetres of the black tube goes into the milk, obviously to get the steam going. Okay, so we'll pull that bit up in a minute. Let me just do some camera skills to show you what we do next. So I bring that up there, make sure the two centimeters are in. We then press the steaming button in the middle and then we slowly twist the dial towards the maximum size. And you'll hear that the steaming just starts to go you bring it, you've got to do it very slowly, it says, or the machine will blow up, which could be very interesting. But as you hear the steamer working there, move it all the way there, and then just steam it up. I'm going to do it a little bit longer today. I didn't do it long enough yesterday, and it was lukewarm. Steam's going to come out of that, so you just slowly turn it back. 
slowly turn it back just to cool the machine tip down you can wait for the bubbles to go down a little bit and bring the temperature back up but to finish it you go straight to the top there bring it out and again i don't know how warm that is it's lukewarm again i think i need to practice a bit more to be honest with my uh, my steaming, but you get the idea of what you actually gotta do. And as I said, it's, it's trial and error. And then we just pour the beautiful steamed milk into the espresso. Probably having a cappuccino mug would have been quite handy, Paul, but there you go. And you have one cappuccino. So that's it, basically. I'll have a quick sip. Mmm taste I've got is perfect. I've perfected the taste, but it's the heat of the steam. Uh, the steam milk, that's the issue at the moment. So I've got to figure out how to do it for longer without it tipping over the side. Maybe I need to get a bigger milk jug, I don't know. That's something I'll have to look into, but quite simple to use. You know, I, th I didn't think it'd be hard, but also with it being a cheaper one, I'm still getting the taste of the coffee. I don't buy the cheaper coffee, I'll be honest with you. If, if you go for the cheaper coffee, you're probably going to get cheaper taste. But that is absolutely fine. The espresso on its own is absolutely stunning. And that's with the La Visa coffee. The cappuccino as well, if it was warmer, it would be absolutely stunning. But no, it's good. Very good. Very high quality because you're using the filtered coffee which we have a lot of pods in this house and, and the granulated stuff. So having this has made the coffee taste a lot, lot better, but don't be put off by paying a hundred pounds for something and it being plastic, because it's not too bad. You know, you, you can go and get one for like 400 quid, fair enough, and it will be good, but this is doing a job. I'm not using it every day. I don't think it's one that will last you maybe making four or five cups a day. I do have, six coffees a day which is probably a bit silly but i won't use it for all of them i may have one in the morning one dinner time and maybe use the espresso after i've had my tea so but it's a good little machine um i'll put the link to um the two items from amazon i am a prime member so it's probably better to be a prime member to get these but 95.99 for this machine is it's a pretty good deal Get the milk jug. I may suggest get a bigger one than 350 mils. But no, it's a very good machine. The reason I did this review, obviously I'm, I'm teaching myself to vlog. Vlog even. But when I went onto YouTube, I usually get my reviews of stuff from YouTube. And there was no review anywhere on YouTube for this actual machine. So I'm hoping this is the first review of this actual coffee machine on YouTube. And hopefully it will it'll give you an opportunity to understand the machine. You can't taste the coffee. You know, I can't do that for you. I can only tell you it's good. And I've bought it. I haven't got no sponsorship with Home, Home Eva or whatever it's called. I don't even know their name. You know, so i got nothing to gain from this. I'm very happy with my machine. And I think if you guys purchase it, I don't think you'll be let down. It is a lot of money. You know, it's nearly £100, but... I think it's a really good machine if you like your coffee. And as I said, it is trial and error, the instruction manual. It don't really explain a lot. It tells you what to do to get it ready, but it doesn't explain how to necessarily make other coffees or to make the cappuccinos better. And it's trial and error, but to be fair, having to play around with a coffee machine and drinking coffee until you make it perfect is pretty, pretty good thing to do, to be fair. So hopefully guys you find this interesting and um, I'll see you soon.